you doing? Hanging in there. <laughs> I didn't really think this was through. <laughs> Are you coming? Yeah. Well, All right. Here's have been dead. You ready? You can still come back. Oh well, no, I'm. <laughs> Tears have already been shed. We're we're good to go. I'm seeing you out there. I'm seeing you seeing me too. What advice would you give to Dylan? Don't forget about the kitchen butt smacks. Those are integral <laughs> in the marriage. Part of every good and fruitful marriage. Kids will come from that. What do you think Kim and Dylan's first fight is going to be about? The Cowboys are definitely going to lose, and he's going to be upset. I thought it comfort you when the Cowboys lose, but also <laughs> be the first to buy tickets when they eventually make it to the Super Bowl. Connection. Got a good, 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 good connection. One of the first things we asked you to do was to tell us a little bit about the five reasons why you wanted to be married to one another. I think his exact words were, quote, she's hot and she likes football. Why do I need five reasons? Amen. So then it was Kim's turn to go. Kim smiled and she pulled out her notes and she said, number one, first and foremost, he's hot. There's a lot of hotness going on <laughs> on stage right now. Kim and Dylan met because they swiped right on each other. The moment Kim matched with Dylan on Hinge, she texted me and I quote, I think I just found my future husband. <laughs> Wreck him. You were all I talked about as soon as we started getting to know each other and I'm sure my friends can attest how I knew from the start you were the one. When I was writing this speech, I scrolled up in my text from Kim and came across one from her on January 7th, 2021. How's Dylan? And Kim said, he's great, smiley face. He's coming to California next weekend, hard eyes. And then the next text said, he's hot, spelled H-A-W-T-T-T. -T -T. So after he told me they met online, I told him she could be an ax murderer or a serial killer for all we knew. I told him, don't let her know where you live, stay in public where people can see what's going on. So while Kim may not be an axe murderer, she is a thief because she stole Dylan's heart. Francis. You've surpassed all my expectations for a future spouse and truly have been an answer to prayer. From years of long distance to finally being in the same state, I can't agree more with the saying distance makes the heart grow fonder because every goodbye got harder knowing how much I was falling in love with you. Kim, today I stand before you, God, and those closest to us, humbled and grateful to have found not only a wife but a treasure. I love how supportive you are and no matter how far I may fall, you're always there to pick me back up. I love how you have a great sense of humor and can be so goofy when I need it most. Through you, I'm able to see how beautiful God's creation is and you are undoubtedly the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. I vow to always be your biggest hype man and supporter. I vow to always make you laugh when you need it or lend my shoulder to cry on. I promise to stand by your side through all of, all of life's challenges, to share in your dreams and to celebrate your triumphs as if they were my own. With you, I am whole. Today is the start of our journey to forever, and I wouldn't want anyone else by my side. I vow to love you unconditionally and to never stop holding your hand no matter how hard life gets. I'll always choose you over and over again without a pause, without a doubt. I'll keep choosing you. There's something beautiful about knowing that I get to love you until the day my heart stops beating. I love you so much, Dylan Cole, and I'm so honored to get to be the one that spends forever with you. It's
more tears allowed. We, we made, made it. It <laughs> it's been about three and a half years ago when I met Dylan. I'm like, okay, who is this guy? What's he look like? Tall, short, hot. to me. Hot. And, and hot. Kim always said that she'd move to Dallas, date a man who loves Jesus, drives a truck, and listens to mostly country music. So here we are, folks. When Dylan first met Kim, I could tell he was head over heels for her. I knew that he loved her when every sentence contained the word Kim. If there are a few things Kim loves, it's football, country music, line dancing, and anything on the water. Dylan is literally the male version of Kimberly, and that's why I love him so much. So here's to Dylan. Well, actually, no. Here's to Hinge for helping Dylan find Kim. And here's for all of us who found free drinks tonight. Oh, <laughs>